Welcome back to this video. In this video, we'll see VLSM exercise number 5. We saw exercise number 4 in the last video. Hope you practiced it enough. Now, it should be much more easier for you if you have been practicing. The process is the same. Uh, now, you should know where to start, how to start. So, if you look at this uh, topology, uh, before that, uh, let me mention one thing. Uh, if these videos are helping you in any ways, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel and click on that notification bell so that when I post a new video, you will be notified. Thank you. So if you look at this topology, we have again some requirements, right? And you guessed it, we always start with the highest requirement and in this exercise the highest requirement is sales 112 host you can see here on the right side 112 and next highest is here 30 host accounting and then from here we need to work 25 host this IT department and after that we need to move to this HR department 10 host and after 10 host HR department we need to work on these one lines they need two addresses each so this would be a subnet here two addresses on each side and this right here is another subnet two addresses on each side and this right here is another subnet two addresses each so this is our lab and let's not waste any more time let's start with sales 112 host and our network id is 200.124.67.0 slash 24 and as you might know class C address default subnet mask so we need to start here straight away we know for our first subnet we start here 200.124.67.0 the slash value is going to be different we need to find that out so let me Start, so let me start with sales uh, 112 host network id 200.124.67.0 broadcast id will find so if you look at this table here what we need we need 112 right 112 host so 64 is not enough 128 is plenty so which means even after we lose 2 for the network id and the broadcast id we still get 126 usable host 126 usable host will get right so we know that we need 112 total devices in the sales department and also here this g000 interface also need an ip address really the complete requirement is 113 so even after we consider for this interface we still have plenty because we are getting 126 addresses we only need 113 which means another 13 is available for future use okay so as of now we are just wasting 13 ip addresses but that's okay that will be there for future use so let me draw this to power table in this way now 128 and you guys when you do this for a long time exercise after exercise you really don't need this anymore there will be a time where you don't need to draw it like this or write it down like this because by heart you will know that one bit borrow is slash 25 right because default is what 24 right this is default and that's where we started 
and when we start borrowing from here 1 bit borrow 24 plus 1 25 2 bits 26 right 3 bits 27 so there will be a time where you don't need to do all this you can simply ignore all this and by heart you will be able to remember that 128 is slash 25 and subnet mask is 255.255.255.128 and 2 bits is slash 26 and subnet mask is 255.255.255.192 how 192? 128 plus 64 so like that you will be able to remember for all like trust me you, there will be a time when you do uh, so much of these exercises uh, there will be a time where you don't need this but if you continue to use this that's okay I encourage you to use this initially but uh, uh, as you do more I'm sure you can get rid of this and you know it will be a second nature and everything will comes to your mind uh, in the second nature format so we are at what we need uh, 126 so that means we are only borrowing one bit right here we are here so slash 25 so we already know our slash value and we already know our subnet mask is 255.255.255.128 because we are only borrowing one bit and the value above is 128 so broadcast id 67 dot now even though it's 128 i'm sure you know this or by now we cannot use the entire uh, block size it's 1 minus 128 127 would be our broadcast next subnet will start with 128 right so this will be 127 now usable host so what's in between 67.0 and dot 127.1 dot all the way until dot 126 and subnet mask 255.255.255.128 and this is slash 25. So we are ready with the first requirement of 112 post for the sales department. You have the network ID, slash value, broadcast ID, usable host, subnet mask. So let's go configure this. So here we are. So we need to configure on this router here. Global configuration interface. This interface G000, G00, no shirt. IP address 200.124.67. The first available usable host is dot one, right? Because dot zero is network ID, we cannot use that for the host. So dot one, I'm going to give this for this G000, which will be the default gateway for the devices. 255.255.255.128. How 128? because we only borrowed one bit and the value above is 128 save now I'm going to add one PC there so this will be Two hundred dot one twenty four dot two hundred dot one twenty four dot sixty seven dot two because one we have given at this interface so next available host is two two fifty five dot two fifty five dot two fifty five dot this will come as defaults remember so we need to change that to one twenty eight now the default gateway two hundred dot one twenty four dot sixty seven dot this address g000 address we have given us 67.1 now let's just assume that there are another 111 host here and in the real world they'll get these ip addresses from dhcp configuration so 
let's just assume that that's how they will be allocated so we are done with this requirement of sales 112 host so next highest is accounting 30 hosts so we need to go to accounting department now so we will be working this router here so let's do the calculation accounting 30 host network id 200.124.67. We ended at broadcast ID.127. So this will start at 128. Broadcast ID for this one. Okay, now let's go to our two power table. So we need 30 host. So even let me take 16. It will not be enough if I go for 32 minus 2 I will get 30 however remember we need to provide it for the interface also this will be just enough for the 30 host but what are we going to do for the interface by interface again I mean here this G000 interface needs an IP address right so 30 hosts will be enough with our calculation but we really need 31 right for the interface so if we go with that then we won't have it for the interface so we need to really go with 64 right 2 to the 6 64 so minus 2 we still get 62 plenty of addresses are there we only need 31 that means 31 addresses are still there for future use we are only at the moment we are only wasting uh, 31 addresses but uh, they will be there for future use right so if we calculate this uh, 128 64 32 16 8 4 2 1 this is slash 24 1 bit slash 25 slash 26 right 2 bits 24 plus 2 26 so we are here 64 right we are here 64 right so that's where we need to stop so 128 plus 64 is 192 that will be our subnet mask uh, return format 255.255.255.192 so the broadcast id the block size even though the block size is 64 we won't be able to use the entire 64 minus 1 63 right so 128 plus 63 is the, going to be our broadcast id so 200.124.67. dot so 128 plus 64 is 192 minus 1 is 191 usable host in between dot 129 until dot 1 dot 190 now the subnet mask dot 192 how 192 128 plus 64 because we have borrowed two bits so the value is 64 so we need to add 128 plus 64 and this slash value is slash 26 so we have everything we are ready to configure so let's go back here global configuration interface g0 0 no shirt IP address 200.124.67. First available usable host is 129, right? 128 is our uh, network ID, right? So the first usable IP is 129 and subnet mask 255.255.192, correct? Let me check and make sure 
Yep, 192. Save this. Now let me add a PC here. So this would be this would be 130 because 129 we have given at this interface which would be the default for this PC and all the other host 200.124.67.130 and 255.255.255.192 because we borrowed two bits so 128 plus 64 is 192 here yeah, this one and default gateway is pretty much that interface address 67.129 Now again let's just assume that there are another 29 hosts and they'll get the IP addresses from the DHCP configuration. And once again we have 31 available addresses for future use in this department at the moment. Now we have done with the accounting. Next highest is 25 hosts IT department. 25 hosts here IT department. So let's work that. IT 25 host network ID 200.124.67. We ended at broadcast ID here 200.124.67.191. So after that is 192. So this will be the ne network ID for this uh, subnet. Broadcast ID we need to find that out. Okay, so third 25 host, right? So let's go to our two power table. Let me bring this guy up a little bit bigger. Okay, so 30 host, right? No, actually 25 host. IT 25 host. 16 is not enough. 32 is plenty. Minus 2, we get 30 usable hosts, right? So we really need 25 hosts plus one for the interface 26. We are getting 30. So this is enough. We can easily go with this. So let's work this. So the block size is 32, but we won't be able to use the entire 32. So one minus 31. So 192 plus 31 will be the broadcast ID 200.124. 24.67.22223 right 224 will start for the next subnet 192 plus 32 is 224 minus 1 is 223 usable host dot 193 until dot 222 subnet mask So we have borrowed three bits, right? We have borrowed, we are here, 32, right? 32, right? 32. That means three bits. That means slash 27, right? 24 plus 3 slash 27. And we need to add 128 plus 64 plus 32, which is 224. 255.255.255.224 and this is slash 27 okay we are ready we have everything we can go here where we are we are here so we need to work on this router enable global configuration interface g0 0 no shut IP address 200.124.67. What's the first 
usable host in this subnet dot 193 dot 193 255.255.254 save now let me add one pc here and this will be 194 right because we have provided 193 for the gateway right so 200.124.67.194.255.255.224 and the gateway is 200.124.67.193 so now let's just assume there are another how many 24 hosts are there right and they'll get it from the DHCP configuration. Now we need to go to HR for the 10 host requirement. After that we need to move on to this one lines. So let's work on this HR. HR 10 host network ID 200.0 124.67 dot so we ended at 223 right so this will be 224 broadcast so we need 10 hosts but really 11 for the interface also right so if you go with 8 there is no way we get that if you go with uh, 16 minus 2 um, minus 16 minus 2 14 right so we only need 11 really that means extra 3 available IP addresses for future use so we can easily go with this 2 to the 4 16 and minus 2 14 usable host so the block size again is 16 but we won't be able to use the entire 16 minus 1 15 so we are here six we are here 16 right 16 16 4 bits borrow well 24 plus 4 is slash 28 that means we need to add 128 plus 64 plus 32 plus 16 is 240 200 dot 124 dot 67 dot 224 plus 16 is 240 minus 1 is 239 usable host dot 225 until dot 238 subnet mask 255.255.255.240 so we have everything as a slash value here is slash 28 right slash 28 24 plus 4 slash 28 we have everything we can now work this we are here HR so this is the router enable global configuration interface G001 this is G001 no shut IP address 200.124.67. Dot. What's the first usable IP? There is dot 225, right? Dot 225. 224 is a network ID, so 225 is the first usable IP. 255.255. .255 255.240 save this now let me add one PC here and this will be 
We have given us 2 to 5, 2 to 5, so 2 to 6. 200.124.67.226. This will be 240. And this is 200.124.67.225. This is the default gateway. So, other 9 hosts will get it from DHCP and now we can move on to these 1 lines. We have 3 of them that needs 2 addresses each. So, this will be one subnet, this will be another subnet and this will be another subnet and they all need 2 addresses each. So, the requirement is same. So, the calculation is almost the same. So, we are here. We cannot go with uh, 2 to the 1, 2 because after network broadcast, we, we have nothing, right? So we cannot go with 2 to the 1. We can go with 2 to the second, 4, minus 2, minus 2 equals 2, which means we are good with this calculation. We only need two addresses, so we can easily go with 2 to the second. So 4, right? We are at 4, and 4 is here. That means how many bits? Until here is 4 bits, 5 bits, 6 bits. 24 plus 6, 30. Slash 30. This will be slash 30 for all one lines. And subnet mask, we need to add all these. 128, 64, 32, 16, 8, 4 is 252. So, 1 number 1 2 host right 2 host network id we ended at broadcast id 200 broadcast so we know that the block size is Four, but we won't be able to use the entire four, so minus one three. So two forty plus three is two forty three. Two hundred dot one twenty four dot sixty seven dot two forty three. Usable host, so simple. What's in between? Two addresses, two forty one and two forty two. Subnet mask. 255.255.255.252 Why 252? Because we need to add all this 128 plus 64 plus 32 plus 16 plus 8 plus 4 because 6 bits borrow slash 30 so we need to stop it here so we need to add all this so we'll get 252 this is slash 30 now we can go back and configure this. We can start with this side, this S010, right? Interface S010, no shut. IP address 200.124.67. First usable is, first usable is 241. 241, sorry, 241. 255.255.255.252. Exit. Save. Now we can go to the other side, S010, this router. Global configuration interface S010, no shut. IP address 200.124.67.242.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.
one number two two hosts so calculation and everything is same network id just that we get different network id and broadcast id 200.124.67. We ended at 243, so this will be 244 network ID and broadcast ID 200.124.67. We know the block size is 4, but minus 1 is 3, so 244 plus 3 is 247. Usable host. Basically, two addresses dot two four five and dot two four six subnet mask same two fifty five dot two fifty five dot two fifty five dot two fifty two. This is again slash thirty. We are ready with one number two. So we can start here as zero one zero. No, this is as zero one one. This one. S011 interface S011 no shirt IP address 200.124.67. First available is 245 255.255.255.252. Exit save. Now we can move on to this router. This will be 246. Global configuration interface S011 no shut IP address 200.124.67.246.255.255.255.252 245 here 246 here correct yeah so we are done with that one also we are done with this one line also. Now one one line left. That one also need two addresses. So we can start with this side as 0, 010. 0. This will be one number three. One number three two host again. Network ID 200.124.67. dot we ended at broadcast ID 247, so this will be 248, right? 200.124.67. Dot, uh, 248 plus 3 is 251 because we won't be able to use the entire 4 block, so 251. And usable is what's in between. Dot 249 and dot 250 usable host and subnet mask 255.255.255.252 slash 30 again so we are ready to configure we can stay on this router interface we are doing this interface s010 010 no shut IP address 200.124.67.249 and 250 249.255.255.255.252 Save Now we can move on to this router S010 So it will be 250 Global configuration interface S010 No shut IP address 200.124.67.250 right 255.255.255.252 save now we have completed the complete requirement they won't communicate at this time because routing is missing I'm sure you know this by now when we go to the PC and try to ping let's see this one is dot two it's going to say what it's going to say 200.124.67.2 it's going to say destination host 
unreachable right because this means routing is missing the router have no routing information so we need to provide then only they can communicate either you can do static routing or default routing or ospf eigrp rip anything you can do we've been doing uh, static routing so let's continue that if you guys want to try like ospf or eigrp rip you know or default route even that they all work so we'll start we'll start here on this router what are the directly connected networks this one line and this it department which means we don't need to provide for these two we need to provide for another one two three four five routes so we need to start with let me i can start with this sales i was the first network so ip route 200 dot 124 dot 67 dot 0 right 55 dot 55 dot 55 dot 128 next stop from here is we need to send it to here as 010 and s010 is 249 dot 24.67.249 now we'll provide it for this here 10 host this is hr right so hr 10 host is 224 and 240 okay ip route 200.124.67.224.55.255.255.240 and next stop is same 200.124.67.249 correct next stop is same Yeah, we need to send it to here as zero one zero. Same. Next stop. So we are done with both of these. Now we can move on to this accounting. Accounting is one twenty eight one ninety two. IP route two hundred dot one twenty four dot sixty seven dot one twenty eight. 255.255.255.192 and next stop is same 249 now we need to provide it for this one line here also this one line so we'll start with this so this would be 241 one number yeah one number 1 240 ip route 200.124.67.240.255.255.255.252 next stop again same 200.124.67.249 now we need to provide it for this one line this is one number 249 s010 let me see to 49 one number 3 248 252 IP route 200.124.67.248.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.
So we have completed the five routes, right? One, two, three, four, five. We can move on to this router. This router directly connected our two lines, this one line and this one line. That means we need to provide it for this IT, accounting, this one line three and HR four and also this uh, sales. So five routes again we need to provide. So let's start with sales. IP route 200.124.67.0.55.55.55.128 Next stop is this one which is S011 245 245 200.124.67.245 Next one we can provide it for this HR IP route 200.124.67.HR is what HR224 and 240. 224, 55.55.55.240. Next stop same 200.124.67.245. Next we can provide this one line S010, which is which is 241 that is one number one 240 252 IP route 200.124.67.240 252 next stop same 200.127.67.245 Next, we'll provide for this accounting 30 host IP route 200.124.67. Accounting is accounting is 128, 192. 128, 255.255.255.192. Next stop saying 200.127.67.245. Now we need to provide for this IT department here. So the next stop is going to be different, right? This will be the next stop as 010. So that is uh, 010. Which one is it? 250. So IP route 200.124.67. IT is 192 and 224 192 255.255.255.224 next stop is 200.124.67.250 correct we check again as 010 and that is 250 so that's our five routes one two three four five so we have completed that save this now we can move on to this router. We have two routers left. This router directly connected lines are this one line, this one line, and this accounting. So that means we need to provide it for uh, IT here, this one line here too, and HR and sales, four routes we need to provide. We'll start with sales again. IP route 200.124.67.0.255.255.255.128 Next stop, we are on this router. We need to send it to here. S010 address is 241. 200.124.67.241 
now we'll provide it for this hr 10 host ip route 200.124.67. hr is 224 and 240, right? 224, 55.25.25.245. Next stop saying 200.124.67.241. Next, we'll provide for next one. We need to provide this one line here. That means our next stop is going to change here as 011, right? As 011 is 246. Uh, what's this? Yeah, 246. Next stop. IP route 200.124.67.241. Now this S0101 subnet is 249, so I think it's 248 is the network ID, yeah, 248, 252, correct? Let me close the other one. Two hundred dot no IP route two hundred dot one twenty four dot sixty seven dot what was it again two forty eight two fifty two two forty eight two fifty five dot two fifty five dot two fifty five dot two fifty two next stop what was it two hundred dot one twenty four dot sixty seven dot zero one one is 246 now we need to provide for this IT IP route 200.124.67 dot IT is one ninety two and two two four 192.255.255.254 next stop is same because we are going this way so this would be the next stop so it's 246 200.124.67.246 so we have the four routes 1 2 3 4 we are done with this the only remaining router is this one and this one the directly connected lines are this WAN link, this uh, sales and HR three directly connected, which means we need to provide for accounting this WAN link, this WAN link, total three, and another one IT. So total four routes we need to provide. So we'll start with the sales again, global configuration IP route. 200.124.67.0 Ah, not sales. That sales is directly connected. We can start with uh, IT actually. Let me erase all this. I made a mistake there. We don't need to provide for sales, right? Because sales is directly connected here. So there is no need to provide route route for that. So this would be IT this is 192224 224.67.192.255.255.255.224 and next stop from here would be this one S010 and S010 is 242 200.124.67.242 
next we can provide this one link here which is 2010 is 250 so I think it's one number two I think not two three 249 and 250 so 248 and 252 IP route 200.124.67. dot 248.255.255.255.252 Next up, same, right? Because we are sending here 200.124.67.242 Now we need to provide for this one which is S011 that is 246 one number 2, 244 and 252 IP route 200.124.67.244.255.255.255.252 Next stop saying 242 Now the last one would be this accounting that is counting 128192 IP route 200.124.67.128.255.255.255.192 next stop same 200.124.67.242 man that was a lot I am done we have four routes here 1 2 3 4 save this now these departments should communicate each other if everything is configured correctly. So last time we checked from this IT to accounting and it wasn't communicating, right? It said it said destination host unreachable. Now let's try this again. It should ping because we have provided the routes now. So the router now knows where these addresses are so we are getting the reply from this PC now if I try to ping let's see this this HR which is 226 right two two six Okay, there is something going on with this. The route is missing for this one. So that means I need to check the route. This one was the HR. So this is 224 and 240, right? 267. Not sure why it's saying uh, let me try again still saying apply from 249 I to where is 249 I pink 226 but 249 there is something wrong with the one line one of the one line I think I provided wrong. Uh, let's see. Yeah, one number three, 249 and 250. So here itself something wrong. Let me close all this. Do I have the Two to four, yeah, that is correct. This one is a zero one zero two fifty forty nine. Everything the next stop is correct, right? 
Let's see this one two four five okay got it I provided the next stop as 200.127 it should be 200.124 so these routes are wrong did I what where else I made this is 2124 okay that's good 2124 so it's it's a good troubleshooting process. I'm glad that it happened. So we can see what's going on. Not every time it's going to smell like roses and jasmine, right? There will be times where it's going to be a pain. We need to fix it as network uh, administrators or network support. We need to be able to find solutions for these kind of problems. So see this should be 124 the second octet I provided here you can see this one I provided correct but here is 127 so I need to remove all these route this uh, let me go to let me do this let me do a show run Do so run. Okay. So I'm going to grab this where I put two to seven as next stop, which is these three, right? Copy. Let me see if I can do this. No uh, paste. I have to do this one by one, I think. No control. I think there is control A or control. Yeah, no. We can click, uh, you have to press control, while you press control, press on A and it will take it to the, uh, in front of the command. Why well, this one is not working. Control A. This one is not working. Okay, so I'll remove this right can I remove it and I'm going to send manually no IP route 200.124.67.240 255 255.255.252 200.127.67.245 so I have removed all those wrong routes. Now let me add this back IP route. Two hundred dot one twenty four dot sixty seven dot two four zero 
255.255.255.252 I'm doing this I know I missed this I'll go back to that next and this will be 200.124 not 127 for 5 IP route 200. Dot, I'm doing the first one now 124.67.224 55.55.255.240 Now IP route 200.124.67.128.55.255.255.192.200.127.67.245 Right? Now this should, let me see, do I do show run? You see everything is correct. This should read 124. Okay, we still have we still have this uh, one wrong, so I need to take this one out. What I put again one two. Paste no IP route and IP route 200.124.67.128.55.55.55.192.200.124 not 127 67.245 do show run now they all should read the same correct now everything looks same so now let me see what was it 226 it was saying unreachable before 226 now it should be pinging because we have corrected it I'm glad this happened Honestly, because we were able to find the problem and fix it. Now we are getting the reply. So that was the issue. So hope this kind of uh, problem, you know, when it arises, hope, you know, what we did would help you to look for all the addresses. You know, you can do a show run and see what you did wrong and the IP routes and all that. So let me, now this IT is pinging HR what about sales this is uh, 67 67.2 and I'm getting the reply now let me see if this HR can reach this 194 IT ping 200.124.67.194 and I'm getting the reply so this was the problem uh, we, uh, we are were able I'm glad we were able to find the solution for it and fix the issue so this is VLSM exercise number five hope it helps somewhat do practice it you have any questions you can ask me down below once again if these videos are helping you in any ways please give me a thumbs up other than that we'll do VLSM exercise 6 in the next video until then stay tuned thank you and good day